Welcome to the Gear Export tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the Gear Export software as you can see here and talk about it and show you how to use the software and go through the general options of the software. Now before we hop into the software though and show you all of that, let's take a look at a few workflows where Gear Export is actually used within the process. Now I have three different workflow examples here, but they're all almost the same. You have the same steps. You have to dictate, transfer, transcribe those files, and then transfer them back to their final destination. Now you can dictate with a handheld portable, with gear dictate, or virtually any recording application or hardware. You can transfer those files via FTP, email, or local area network. And then you transcribe those files with software. Now, Gear Export is a software that integrates into these workflows and allows you to automatically move these files for you between destinations and encrypt or unencrypt these files for you. So now that we've seen some example workflows, let's hop into the software and see what it has to offer. Now, before we hop right into the software, there are three things you have to understand about the Gear Export software. First is what is a rule? A rule, put simply, is a set of instructions you give Gear Export that tells the software how to handle files such as sending, receiving, and exporting. Next is what is a key? An encryption key is a file created either by you or someone else that allows you to access your encrypted files. And lastly, what is an FTP directory path? The FTP directory path is something you stipulate during setting up of a rule, and it allows you to tell the software where to upload and download files to, whether it be certain folders on your FTP site. All right, so here we are looking at the Gear Export software. As you can see, it's got a pretty basic and easy interface here, and the software is just as easy to use once you get familiar with it. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the Start Process button. This allows us to start and stop our monitors, and it also allows us to exit out of the program. Next to it, you've got your Options dialog. We'll go through the options later. And then you've got the Launch Wizard. This allows us to create new rules for the software. So let's go ahead and hop in here and actually create a new rule. Now, first thing you have to do is name your rule. We're going to go ahead and name this one our inbound rule or unencrypt if we had encrypted files out there on the internet we needed to retrieve. Once we have it named, we can click OK. And we've got to choose what type of source are we monitoring. Well, I'm getting my files from an FTP site, so I need to put in my FTP information. Put in my uh, host name, followed by my username and password, and then the directory path where my files are coming from. I've got that copied on my clipboard here. Now you've got some options down here that you can use for transferring your files, like passive FTP mode, secure file transfer protocol, uh, safe upload options, and also some options like if you want to overwrite files if they already exist. Well, I don't have anything special on my FTP site here, so I'm just going to click OK. And then I have to choose what folder I want to have my files being put into. Well, I want it in my inbound folder, work coming to me. So I click inbound, and then I click OK. Now, I need to name my next rule that we're going to create, and that's our outbound rule, or encrypt if we were sending files out to the Internet. So we click OK, and we choose where our files are coming from. Well, they're coming from my outbound folder on my desktop, so we choose that. Now it's telling me that this is the first time a rule has been created. It's going to be the default rule for this monitor for outbound files. That's okay. Now it wants me to choose what kind of filtering. Do I want to send any and all files that are in this folder? Do I want to send only files that are a certain uh, amount of days or hours old? You can do that as well. Then if I want to make a backup, local copy, it asks me if I would like to create that. Well, I obviously do. I have a backup folder right here on my desktop. I'm going to put it in there. And now it asks me where I want to have my files moved via, meaning how do I want to transfer them? Do I want to put them on an FTP site, a directory, a network, an email copy? Well, I'm putting on my FTP site. So I put my host name, my username, my password, and then my FTP site directory path. Once again, it's almost identical to my last one, so I'll paste my clipboard here, and then I'll just change it to my outbound. have no special options here, so I hit OK. Now, once we have that all set up, we've got our inbound and our outbound all set up. Now, we do not have the actual encryption part set up, though, for our outbound files. So, if we click outbound, click edit, now we can see everything, all of the, everything that we just set up, and some more advanced options. For example, we can choose our transfer options. These are what we put in from the beginning. You can change these at a later time just by going in here. Then you've also got some more advanced options like recursively processing a directory, unencrypting files during transfer, zipping files, converting audio files. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. I don't want any special formatting on this uh, rule. 
Then you can also have scheduling. Do I only want the gear export software to transfer files during my business hours? Or do I want it to do round robin scheduling? And then last but not least, I do want it to encrypt my files before I send them out. So I choose this little box and it will automatically encrypt them with my key. I click the OK button, OK again because I'm all done, and we should be able to start up our processes and begin uh, having files transfer from inbound and outbound. Now as you can see on the inbound rule as well, you have all those same customizable options. We can change them if we need to, but we won't need to for what we're demonstrating here. So we click OK, we're going to go ahead and start up our processes. First thing you should notice that the gear export software has a little notice window down here. And it will tell me everything that's going on with its connection. So for example, there are no files to download. Well, I have this test dictation here that I've typed up. And this audio file is about a megabyte in size. Now I can stick this in my outbound folder. And you can notice almost immediately gear export is already encrypting the file and transferring it off to my FTP site. Now it's also created a local copy on my backup folder here as you can see, one encrypted and one unencrypted. So that way I never lose any of my data. Now, how do we check and see if it got to its destination? Well, let's open up my FTP site and as you can see here in my outbound folder that the audio file or text file that I had transferred is in my outbound folder. Now we have nothing in my inbound folder so let's paste something into there so we have some data. And let's see it download through the gear export software. So I'm going to drag this file into here, and as you can see, it's now being uploaded. Once that's all complete, Gear Export should see the file and begin downloading it for me and unencrypting it if it was encrypted. So let's go ahead and minimize out of this, take a look at the Gear Export software here, and as you can see, it's going to go ahead and start checking for my audio files or text files, whatever I have being transferred, and it's going to pick up the file just like it did, and now it's going to start downloading the file into my local directory. Now, when it's all done, it should delete it for me off my FTP site. As you can see here, it's now in my inbound folder on my desktop, and I have work either waiting to be transcribed or a finished document waiting for me just to go ahead and put it where it needs to be for its final destination. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look in the options here and tell you about some of them and how they work. First thing you should notice is about the auto start monitors on startup. That means automatically start processing as soon as I start the application. Do you want the application to automatically minimize to your system tray? So you just open the program and it's out of mind. And then also some basic options. Rename files if they exist. And also, how long do you want to keep your archive files? Well, I only want to keep my backup files for 30 days. Then down here at the bottom, you have the option to choose some of your basic setups for the software, like where you want your log files to go, printing files. And then also, how much computer resources do you want to use? How often do you want it to hit the FTP site? How often do you want it to check your local area folders for you? And then your FTP transfer options. Do you want to delete files off the FTP site? Do you want them to delete them unconditionally, meaning for there's nothing that could stop it, or with safe delete options? And here we have our secure transfer options, meaning if you want to transfer via a secure server, you can set up your options within this tab. And then also at the bottom, you can change or edit your key file for gear export, whether you want to import one from someone else or if you want to export yours to give to somebody else. Next, we're going to take a look here at the error handling options. Where do you want your error logs to get transferred to? Where do you want them stored? Do you want them to be emailed to someone if there should be an error with your gear export software so someone can be notified if it's just running automatically in the background? Also available on the top, we have two tabs for our Olympus and Voice It recorders that are available out there for you to do some customizing within the software. And here you can take a look at some of the options that are available within these two tabs. All right, well, that's all the options that are really available within the software. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that now. And you've seen the gear export software now. I've showed you how to set up an inbound rule, an outbound rule, how to encrypt or unencrypt, and how to completely customize your transfers as well. I've also showed you all the options available and explained them for you. If you should have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us. We're with transcriptiongear.com. We can be reached at 1-888-834-2392. And our product specialists are available at option one or technical support available via option two. You can also visit us at our website and that's www.transcriptiongear.com. Once again, Matt here with TranscriptionGear.tv, signing out.